So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can add embody to your Agbada design, like these images or this video you can see on your screen right now. So I already created a Clue 3D file of a full Agbada outfit, whereby you can customize it and you can also add embody on it depending on the design of the embody. It is just as plain white as what you can see on your screen right now, like this one you can see on your screen. So just go to my Gumroad and purchase it. So before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more videos. So let's add our monogram to this Agbada design. And make sure that your monogram is in PNG, that means in a transparent format. So I'll use this um, add graphic um, tool to add the monogram here. So I'm going to select this add graphic tool. And I'm going to use this one. And I'll select open. Then I'll place it on this agada pattern. And select OK. OK, we are going to have this. So we need to do a little bit of adjustment. So I just need to move it bit uh okay and okay. okay so i think this is um better <clears throat> this is better so uh, i'll just copy and paste this to the other pattern so i'm going to select this control c and paste it here control v and i'm going to select this i'm going to right click and i'm going to select flip i'm going to flip it vertically I'm going to put it here. Um, move it above a bit. Uh, okay. But then I'll still need to go to the 3D view to place it properly. So I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to just drag this a bit. Uh, okay. Just in line. Okay. Let me see. It's a perfect match. Let me just move it a bit. I think it's too much. I just feel like okay, yeah, this is better. So we are going to have this. So this um two or this uh, feature I'm going to use right now is only available in Clue 3D twenty twenty four point one upward. So because I want to cut this um or I want to trace this embroidery on the pattern, creating an internal line. But before I do that, let me first remove linked editing. So I'm going to select A on my keyboard and select the O um pattern, and I'll right click and I'm going to remove link editing. I'll do the same thing to this other one also. I select this, right click and remove link editing. Yeah, so I'm going to select this um, to transform to graph transform graphic to sorry. I'm going to select the um, Agbada pattern. <coughs> I'm going to right click. Yes, I'm going to use trace as internal shape. So you won't see this um, trace as internal shape when you right click on Clo 3D 7.3 or 7.2 or 7.1. You only see it in 2024 upward. So let me just trace as internal shape. I've done that. I'll do the same thing to this one also. Select this, right click, uh, trace as internal shape. So when you do this, you see an internal line that has something like this around your embroidery. So I'll just select um, A on my keyboard and just focus only on the internal line that has been traced on the embroidery. Then um, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select uh, cut and sew. Then it's going to separate because i want to add a new fabric on this um embroidery so that it can look embossed and we are getting there soon so i'm going to do this to this other aspect also i'm going to select this right click and cut and sew sorry did i drag yeah i'm going to do the same thing here okay let's select start with this on the outside right click and um cut and sew okay still loading okay and i'm going to right click here cut and sew <coughs> so um i think we are good to go <coughs> so let's add a new fabric then i'm going to assign this fabric for the or this pattern of the um embroidery and select this hold on shift and select the other part and select this one here yeah. So we have this. So um, <clears throat> so you can see it's looking like a graphic on the pattern. So what we need to do is just to increase the fabric thickness. So I'm going to select this fabric option. Yeah, fabric. I'm going to scroll down. I don't know why this is open. Uh, let's close the detail. We just need the thickness. So when you are on your property editor for fabric, or when you click on fabric, not on pattern, scroll down. 
and this thickness you can change it to two or three so i'm going to change it to two you will not see the effect here you will not see the effect here because this is in um, textured surface. so you need to change it to thick textured surface i'm going to select thick textured surface and you see it here so or uh, you can even change it to three if you feel like oh it's not but when you render it you will see the um you see the result but then it should show you can you see a sticker sticker so sticker so this is just how you can add your embroidery on your agbada pattern and also yeah there's one thing you can also do but make sure that when you do this thing don't simulate the um outfit again you can just um change color or do any other thing you want to do you get just delete this delete this so that we can see the inner outfit you get so yes can you see then you can go to the back and also delete this so we have something like this can you see also i forgot to mention something so i created a beginner friendly tutorial whereby you can learn how to create this full outfit and also you get a project file for this particular outfit inside that particular course and also links to some other um, website where you can get free asset or paid asset on clo 3d so just go to my gum route and purchase it if you're interested in that um, package so this is just how you can add embroidery to your agbada design and thank you once again for purchasing this plain agbada design in my next tutorial i'm going to be designing this abitia cap so see you in my next tutorial